Hello, and welcome to Mr. Lee's Brain Break. I am, of course, at... Allie, what are you doing? I just wanted my 15 minutes of fame. Not now. I'm just, are you sure? Yes. Okay, fine. Sorry about that. Hello! It's really me this time. Uh, how's everyone doing? It's almost the end of the school year. Can you believe it? It feels like it's been two years, to be honest. Um, I'm a little sad, though. We're not good. Brain break's coming to an end for the year. Um, I can't do it this summer. I can't do it for my family and cats. They're not big fans. Um, Greg, how are you doing? Hello, everyone. I'm optimistic. I'm thinking of getting a haircut. Really? But you're made of hair. I know, but I'm thinking of getting a new look. Wow. I don't even know what to say about that. I, I can't imagine you looking any different. Yeah, I have some news, too. I'm thinking about moving back to sunny California. What? What? Yeah, I'm thinking of going there for the summer and, like, seeing what happens next year. So you won't be here this next year? Well, I don't know. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay, Greg. Um, sometimes we can't con we can't control everything, and uh, sometimes we just have to go with it and be happy for our friends with their big change. Yeah, but Tammy won't be here. She might not be here for brain break next year. Well, I don't even know if there will be a brain break next year. Um, but we had one this year, and I can't think of any other school that had their very own show every week in their school. So that's kind of awesome. So I think we should just try to enjoy the last few weeks and uh, enjoy the fact that we got to have our own show during the weirdest school year ever. Yeah, when you say it that way, it sounds pretty awesome. That's because it is. The show has been so much fun during this wild year. Mr. Lee, I think you should walk around the halls next week and record students in the hallway saying how much they love Brain Break and how much fun they have been having during this very weird year. That is a great idea. Um, so students, if you see me in the hall next week and I have my camera, uh, listen to your teachers, don't go crazy. But I want you to say hi, wave at the camera, say hi to Tammy, Greg, or Brian, um, and just say how you feel about the ending of the school year. Try to get everybody into the show. But speaking of shows, segue, it's time for Street Smarts. Yo, Brian. Hey, buddy. Let's get this thing going over here. This week, I want to talk about the biggest, the hugest, the most colossal animal that has ever roamed the earth that we know of. That's right, it's the blue whale. Now, I don't know a ton about the blue whale, but I know I have a big fan of your school and she's going to help me out. I'd like to phone a friend, please. And that friend is your very own Senorita Pedersen. Hola! Hola, Senorita. I understand you're a big fan of the Street Smart segment. Oh, I'm a huge fan, Brian. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> I understand that you have a series of amazing facts about the huge blue whale. Oh, I sure do. All right. Why don't you just hit me with a few of them facts then? All right. Here we go. All right, Brian, you ever seen an elephant? I should have at the, at the zoo. Yeah, they're pretty big. Well, the, uh, the blue whale's tongue weighs as much as an elephant. Its tongue weighs as much as an elephant. That's right. It is as long as three school buses, and its heart is as big as a car. Are you kidding me? I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. If I wanted to, I could swim through its blood vessels. <laughs> well, that sounds amazing and scary. Yeah, I don't want to. Um, but it is the biggest animal to have ever lived, even bigger than dinosaurs. So what do these uh, creatures eat? They must eat, like, huge meals, right? Uh, the really bananas thing is they eat a tiny creature, a type of plankton called krill. So they eat tiny, microscopic little uh, creatures, but they're as big as three school buses. So how many do they eat? They must eat a lot of them. They sure do. They eat... Eight 
thousand pounds of them, which is about 40 million krill. They eat 40 million krill every day. That's right. And you want to know what else? They're really loud. Louder than me. <laughs> that must be really loud. No, just kidding. Yeah, they're louder than a jet engine, and you can hear them for hundreds of miles underwater. Holy cow. I knew the blue whales were cool, but I didn't know any of these facts. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Well, thank you, Senorita Patterson, for your help on today's Street Smarts. Those were some fast fun facts. <laughs> fun fact. Until next time. You're welcome. Bye. Yeah, he leaves really fast. Oh, I know. That's so Brian. I just love it. Thank you, Senorita Pedersen. My pleasure. Have a good rest of the show. I'm so happy she's a fan of Street Smarts. Um, well, now it's time for our really fun and accurately named segment, the Arts and Crafts segment. All right, today we're gonna to do some painting. We're gonna be using watercolor paint, glue, and salt. All right, let's get going. So first, you need to draw your design using your glue. And you can squeeze out a nice big layer of glue. I'm gonna be drawing a sandcastle, so here's my beach. Here's my castle. And you can do any design you want. You could do a sandcastle, you could do a jellyfish, or any other kind of fish. All right, so once you have your pattern drawn out, you need to take your salt and cover all the glue with salt. Make sure to get it all nice and covered. Then you take your salt and you can brush it off onto another surface. Now all your glue is covered in salt. Next, you take your paintbrush, dip it in some water, and get your colors ready. I'm gonna start with some yellow. Get your paintbrush and start dipping it on your salt. The salt is going to slowly absorb all the colors that you put on it. Do some green for the top of our sandcastle. So, once you're done, you need to take your salt painting and let it dry on a flat surface for quite a while because you used quite a bit of glue. So once again, you can do anything you want with your glue and salt. Just be creative and have fun. Thank you, Miss Jamie. I totally want to make one of those now. Me too, if I had hands. <laughs> Me too! Maybe I can help you. Yay! Happy Twins! Okay, Greg. <clears throat> now is the time for your song of the week. Yes! It's time for Greg Sings. Hello, everyone. I turn this up in my headphones. Now, I know everyone wants to hear me sing real loud, but today, I just feel like riding this groove. Uh, that's my partner Chad on the bass over there. Uh, get it, Chad. Just get on down to this one, alright? Let's all just groove on our chairs. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Come on, Beacon. Let's get funky. Uh. One more. Boo-doo. Uh. Boo-doo. Boo All right. And 
Till next week, vegan. Thank you, Greg, and his songwriting partner, Chad. That was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that about does it for this week's show. Have a good weekend, Beacon. And songwriter Chad, want to take us home? Huh? Oh, yeah. One last thing. Thank mm-hmm. you.